Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio, and Wayne Rooney speaks out. Wayne Rooney is pissed, um, and for good reason, um, because he feels that footballers are being made scapegoats, and to a certain extent, he's right. Before we get into what Rooney actually said, if you're new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, follow us on Twitter, United Text, and smash the notification button for latest Manchester United news. So, obviously for those people where there's been ongoing pandemic um obviously and and what's been happening is that specifically footballers uh, amongst others have been asked to take pay cuts um substantially and there's been more and more pressure on footballers to take said pay cuts now Wayne Rooney who is essentially speak seems to be speaking on behalf of of footballers um basically wrote a column in the Sunday Times and I'll, t I'll speak a few quotes from that column and, and I quote this is directly from Wayne Rooney for the Premier League to just announce the proposal as it has done increases the pressure on players and in my opinion, it is now a no-win situation. If players come out and say they can't agree or are not willing to cut by 30%, even if the real reasons are that it will financially ruin some, it will be presented as rich players refuse pay cut. It seems strange to me because every other decision in this process has been kept behind closed doors, but this had to be announced publicly. Why? It feels as if it's to shame the players, to force them into a corner where they have to pick up the bill for lost revenue. So that's what Rain Rooney says regarding um, regarding the, the, the Premier League. So there's been pressure on the Premier League, a lot of clubs to for players to take this 30% pay cut. And obviously a lot of players deem or feel that this this just this isn't a workable model. Um, he goes on to say how the past few days have played out as a disgrace. I get the players are well paid and could give up money, but this should be getting done on a case-by-case -case basis. Clubs should be sitting down with each player and explaining what savings needs to survive. Players would accept that. One player might say, I can afford a 30%, another might say, I can only afford 5%. Personally, I have no problem with some of us paying more. I don't think that would cause any dressing room problems. Whatever way you look at it, we're easy targets. What gets lost is that half our wages get taken by the taxman. Money that goes to government, money that is helping the NHS, which is absolutely right. And he makes some criticism on on why big stars from other sports, as well as people living in Monaco, aren't being heavily scrutinised. And he also scrutinised the health secretary, Mr Hancock, who you can see right here. And I'll tell you what he specifically said, Mr Hancock, which I agree with. And he says this, and I quote, If the government approached me to help support nurses financially or buy ventilators, I'd be proud to do so, as long as I knew where the money was going. I'm in a position where I could give something up, not every footballer is in the same position. Yet suddenly, the whole profession has been put on the spot with a demand for 30% pay cuts across the board. Why are footballers sudden scapegoats? How the past few days have played out is a disgrace, I said. He, i.e. Hancock, was supposed to be giving the nation the latest on the biggest crisis we face in our lifetimes. Why was the pair of footballers even in his head? Was he desperate to divert attention from his government's handling of this pandemic? Now that is a scathing criticism for Matt Hancock um, and the government as a whole. And as you can see, my opinion about this has fluctuated over the last couple of days. I agree that I feel that footballers, and to be honest, anyone with money, where they can, should be able to contribute in this way. But let me know what you think, guys. Do you think that Wayne Rooney is right? Do you think that the government is right? Personally, for me, I sort of agree with Rooney to a certain extent because why is it just footballers that are being targeted? What about all the bankers, the CEOs and the other multi-billionaires and millionaires, some of whom actually are sitting in Parliament? Why are they being asked, asked to contribute more? Um, more importantly, given as when Rooney said that a lot of money has been going to tax for footballers, where actually has that money been going? Has it really been going to be, to be spent on a National Health Service or has it been going elsewhere? Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I think it's very, very interesting. Let me know if you support Rooney or not. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, United X, and smash the notification button for the latest Manchester National News. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.